Smith. I'm a Red Seal carpenter. I've been self-employed for over 25 years. I'm doing mostly residential construction in the Campbell River area. Okay, ba basically the NIC training gave me, a, added on to my skill set as a carpenter to learn some of the um, different installations of, of and building practices in the film industry. Because potentially I build in a structural world, I'm building things out in an environment to last. But um, the reality of it is the things that we're building that are in the film industry are going to outlast anything that I build in the real world because it's going to be on film for, you know, basically forever. So it's been quite the learning experience. That, the hands-on grip training from NIC really helped me understand all the equipment and what you had to perform like on set and the pressures and they really, they really prepared me to just get out there and uh, be successful on set. I started out uh, working for Pup Christmas and I got a show call with a bit of effort finding the key grip and getting a hold of them and such. And after that I did a couple commercials, um, I did a little documentary um, and then I followed up with a bit of maybe four weeks on Chesapeake Shores and then went and just did a show in Victoria called Pup Prep Academy for the past four months. This course was really important from NIC because without it you wouldn't have a shot of knowing what's going on on set. So I took the grips course and there's lighting and PA. In terms of grips, there's so much equipment and so many things to learn and uh, so much to put together and know how to set up that it, it, it's imperative to get you into the industry itself for sure. Our instructor uh, has been in the industry for 18 years and really knows what he's talking about. And uh, that combined with the on-site work the on-set work with all the elements and the equipment and really getting to touch them and feel them and see how stuff's set up, it just, it, it really helped out. And from what I've heard, this was one of the best training programs that there is out there. If there's a continuously growing number of shows being shot in your local community or in your local region, then those crews are gonna have to come from somewhere. And from a hiring point of view, I'll take a person local with local knowledge um, over somebody that I have to import in from some, somewhere else that knows nothing about the area, doesn't know where the hardware store is, doesn't know who owns the hardware store, and where can I get an aluminum boat. I'm Ingrid Mormon, and I was lucky enough to do the GRIP program with Smitty, Jeff Smith. So I'm a permittee with the IATSE 168, and uh, I've also was lucky enough to get onto PUP Academy as a day call, and ended up doing a total of 12 days, which, as, as a GRIP, which kind of blew my mind every day I got called. <laughs> it's just a really great program because it it doesn't take a huge chunk out of your life. It's this intense program. It gives you some hands-on experience and that's what you really need more than anything else. And it opens up doors that would otherwise maybe not be open to you. I met a producer named Matt Drake who was um, one of the producers for Dan Paulson's uh, TV show Chesapeake Shores. Um, at that point, uh, Matt Drake um, contacted uh, the DGC union and offered me for four months learning how to be a training assistant director. I took all the experience that I could and I met an AD named Ken Shane and a second named James Gardner and since then they've taken me over to Arrow and I've been living in Vancouver hopping on Disney shows and CW shows and I just recently finished the crossover. It gave me credibility in the industry. I've done a lot of work in the industry. I had a lot of experience, uh, as I said previously, um, just in the, in the group. I've done everything from uh, rigging and uh, work, uh, rigging zip lines and environmental documentaries to uh, working as a first AD on a a uh, small local production about Dying Dignity, a drama, uh, to uh, associate producer, uh, which is a pretty broad ranging title for uh, a small production because we had to, I had to secure locations, I secured talent, I really, I really went out and brought a lot to the show and to a great degree made it possible for that director to bring his vision to the screen. The biggest thing that, that came out of this is the realization that I got out of it is that these students that went through these courses are coming into the industry better armed than anything that we've ever had in the past. This of course being the pilot, it's the first of its kind in North America. By the time they go through our courses, and whether it was the construction, the grip, or the lighting, they were coming out of it with, with six certificates. They're getting their film orientation, which is mandatory to get into either union. They're giving their uh, first aid level one. 
a forklift ticket, an aerial platform ticket, their WEMIS, which is also mandatory for working in the film industry for either union, and then they were given a certificate for whatever course they took, be it construction, grip, or lighting. This is how we, we develop this competitiveness, is that we show that we have not just you know, well-trained crews in one area, we have well-trained uh, trained crews everywhere, and that producers feel confident that they can find a location and shoot there and uh, minimize their costs because they can hire a lot of local people. Uh, so I think it's important that um, you know, as we move forward, that it gives, it gives, like I said, it helps some of the headwinds that the film industry will face in British Columbia as it does in other places. Vancouver Island has now experienced its busiest year to date, and it shows no signs of letting up this year. When we can give local producers or production companies local crews, the cost savings to them is phenomenal. And we have everything here on Vancouver Island to make the film industry strong. Pretty much jumped into work almost straight away in March. We started working on Chesapeake Shores and that ran through mid-July and then August we picked up on a Tony Braxton Christmas movie. We went up to Revelstoke for some and we've kind of been all over Vancouver. It, uh, it's been a lot of good good work and working steady since. The best part about taking the TV, film and crew training is just, I mean, just being able to work and having that knowledge going into it and not showing up unprepared. You just have a little bit more of an edge than the average person off the street might who's thinking of getting into the business. You've, you've got some skills and tools with you to bring to the table and just gives you that confidence and the ability to, to do the job that, that you're going for. I got uh, full time on Chesapeake Shores here on the island. That was last summer and that was lovely. Uh, working in Qualicum on the island, being close to home. Uh, and then to continue working full time, I had to go over to Vancouver. Um, did some uh, movies of the week there and also uh, commercials. So I've done uh, TV, film and commercial just full time since, I, since graduation. Uh, the, training, the training program at NIC really helped me uh, get orientated with what I was to be expecting uh, heading onto set because it's, it's kind of a lifestyle job and there's a lot to, uh, a lot, uh, you know, there's a lot of differences between just a regular nine to five job and working on film for 12 to 16 hours a day. So it was very helpful with the, the hands-on aspect of it. And I think the value of NIC's film and training program is that it, it provides you not only with, with hands-on experience through uh, taught by actual instructors, so they, they can replicate working conditions and, and get, you, get you sorted, but they're also able to directly provide you work through their own, you know, through their own personal contacts and, and you're able to network right off the bat and that's, that's infinitely valuable. The timing was right for this. We had worked really hard with the college for many years and we launched the program at the right time. And I think it's just the beginning of something that um, we could, should continue to work on because we're, sh we're showing precedent. I get an approach from people um, not only just in the province of British Columbia, but I did interviews for the construction industry in Ontario. I was approached um, by places like Georgia. I mean, Georgia is one of the biggest, um, busiest places in North America right now. In Atlanta, the same as Vancouver is in British Columbia, but the outskirts of Georgia were facing exactly what was the same dilemma as we had. I was approached by Norway and I was approached by Mongolia. Would we come over to Mongolia? I would say um, if this course was to ever come up again, take it. You've got wonderful people around to support you and all around that care for you and the, just the base of the island and the film crew here is just super supportive and, you know, it's, it's, I would say do it. The dollars that this will bring for productions to the, to the province and the, the incomes that these people working in the industry can make, it's, it's an investment in our future and I think the government should jump onto it wholeheartedly. We really seem to have hit on a program that is common sense, um, doable, and has a success rate to go along with it now. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm sold. <laughs> I'm sold.